All right, students. So let us see this particular problem that we have for today is find the value of this double summation, right? So let's highlight. And when you are making short notes, if you are of the series, uh, this question has to be understood because double summation. And to be honest, guys, double summation actually is a very fun way of solving a question in maths. So first, understand double summation. Double summation, especially when both, uh, I should say, a काम करते हैं highlight करें देखा तो when both the variables are going from same to same values 0 1 to 10 1 to 10 now what we can say about double summation is that it is nothing but a square matrix how to think about a problem of double summation when the limits are tending from same to same value is a square matrix where we can say m is rows let's say i would say m identify n or let's say m says rows and n says columns Right. So that means the question is going from 1 to 10. What we guys can say here is that means it is a 10 cross 10 matrix or we can arrange the numbers in the 10 cross 10 format. Right. And when you have summation, that means sum of sum of all the elements of this 10 cross 10 matrix. So always whenever the double summation will come, uh, you will have to use this particular fundamental. Now let's simplify uh, and I, I, I say let's say uh, we have A11, A12 and here you will have A110. Here let's say you will have something of uh, A101 right 10th row in this and this will be here will be A1010 right matrix. So what will be the first element that means putting M as 1 uh, that will be tan inverse one okay to understand better those students who are not comfortable with the double summation sign what you should do you should put m equal to one first and do the summation for uh, according to n right so this will be 10 inverse 1 by 2 this will be 10 inverse 1 by 3 and this will go till 10 inverse 1 by 10 now the second thing would be to solve with when a uh, n, basically m is equal to 2 so this will be 10 inverse 2 notice Diagonal element that is what this particular element is a22 right a22 is again coming out to be tan inverse 1 right if we go forward the next would be tan inverse 2 by 3 and so and so forth similarly tan inverse 3 I'll solve till uh, some point and then I'll uh, tell you Sara nahi likhna hai. do not waste your time in writing the entire series that is never going to happen now Let's start finding the patterns the pattern first of all which is very very evident but is the diagonal one now, if I see the diagonal elements here, they are all tan inverse 1 because m and n are equal, very obvious, right? So, if m and n are equal, so if, if I were to solve this particular problem, so when m and n are equal, that means kitni jaga honge? 10 elements, 10 diagonal elements are there, right? So, what will happen? It will be tan inverse 1. So, the answer, the sum kitna ho jayega yahan par? Sum will be 10 times tan inverse 1 which is nothing but 10 into pi by 4. So how many total elements were there? 10 into 10, 100 elements of which we have identified 10 elements. How many are left? 10 is basically 10 into pi by 4. Now 90 elements are still left. Now we have to think about, is there a pattern about those, uh, you know, 90 elements? Yes, there is definitely a pattern. Sir, kaha pattern hai? Hame to nahi dikh raha hai. Aye, let's figure out the pattern. So if I pick you a12, a12 kitna hai dekho? 10 inverse 1 by 2. Which elements I am talking about? I am talking about this element and yes, 10 inverse 2. Why I am picking that? Dekho, transpose elements ka a12 or a21, transpose uh, elements hai. To yaha par dekho, ye kya ban 10 inverse 2. Now we can use the property of cot and tan inverse that they are reciprocals of each other. So that means I can say this value is nothing but cot inverse 2 and then we also know the property that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is in nothing but yes. So that means what I have got here is tan 1 2 plus tan 2 1 is equal to pi by 2 and how many such pairs we guys can form? Wait, transpose pairs okay 1 2 2 1. So similarly you guys can very easily see 1 3 3 1. 1, 4, 4, 1. Or let's say you have this. What is this element? This is 2, 3. So this will be paired with 3, 2. Sorry, 2, 3, 
three two. So that means you can see that I have written this wrong. So uh, sorry guys, this should be uh, my bad. This should be what three by two, right? So this, if you know the pairing, you can in fact identify your wrong answers as well. Now you know of those ninety elements, how many pairs are there? Forty five pairs are there whose answers are going to come out to be pi by two. आया समझ में तो फाइनल आंसर क्या आया सर फिर फाइनल आंसर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वुड बी टेन टाइम्स पाई बाय फोर प्लस फोर्टी फाइव इन टू पाई बाय टू अंडरस्टूड गाइज सो वॉट आई कैन से इज दिस इज नथिंग बट फिफ्टी टाइम्स इफ यू नोटिस इफ वी जस्ट डू अ सिंपल कैलकुलेशन फिफ्टी टाइम्स पाई बाय टू और योर फाइनल आंसर कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव Pi, this is going to be the final answer of this question on double summation. Double summation, I again repeat, students will always form a square matrix provided m and n are equal, and this is will help you solve these kind of questions. Imagine these kind of questions in a better way.